Hello and welcome to worship at Bethel Presbyterian Church. You know, it was just a few minutes ago that I sent out an email and posted a message on our Facebook page that said, looking at all the rain, it's a good possibility that we'll have to worship inside tomorrow. Not that worshiping in the sanctuary is a bad thing. It's a great thing and we can't wait till we are able to do that. But worshiping inside does call for specific measures. We have to social distance and we'll have to wear a mask. So whether you come to worship inside or you worship online with me right now, or we're able to worship out in the pavilion, it all demands us to make a choice, a choice to be safe in how we worship. Life is full of choices, that's for sure. And we're gonna find that out a little later as we study this morning's scripture. But before we go there, let's begin worship together with a call to worship. Please follow along with me. Let us enter God's presence for worship. Let us proclaim this God whom we worship. The Lord is sovereign, the Prince of Peace, the Bread of Life. He is the creator, sustainer, and ever-present, all-powerful. God is the great I Am, the first and the last, the Good Shepherd. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Amen. Let us pray. Life-giving God, we gather in your presence to offer you thanksgiving and praise for all that you have done for us. We praise you for the sun that shines and we give awesome thanks for the rain that fell the rain that will help the crops to grow, that will give life back to brown and burned grass, that helps our gardens produce. We give thanks for the life and death and resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ, because through that we have been set free, free from the power of sin that leads to death, free to follow the leading of your Holy Spirit, free to love you with all of our heart and soul and strength, free to worship. May your Holy Spirit inspire our praise and our prayers. Open our hearts and minds to you and your presence among us and within us and to the word you have for us today. To you alone belongs all praise and honor, glory and blessing now until the end of time. Amen. And amen. Please join us now in the first worship hymns this morning, our hymns of praise. We bow down and oh worship the King. <laughs> 